You're up. Good morning. Would you like to fuck in your room? So Weird Science is possibly my most favourite comedy of all time. In 2016 we have Hotspot, a comedy movie which is basically trying to be this generation's weird science, but does it succeed? So this one is directed by Michael Polish and it was actually written by him and his brother Mark Polish along with a couple of other writers as well. And basically, the movie here follows two young, nerdy, kind of downtrodden geeks, basically, as they happen to stumble across this highly advanced sex robot, which has been basically sent from a, a German manufacturer to a US senator, basically to try and get approval for this kind of technology to enter the state. So basically, this kind of technology is not available in the kind of United States at the moment. And basically these two guys find this kind of robot of it as it basically breaks kind of free and of course misadventures issue and we have uh, you know various shenanigans and sexual awakenings and the meaning of true love and all that good stuff or is it now i have to say if you look back at 80s comedies in general in particular the kind of sex related uh, 80s comedies they are by today's standards very sexist and very misogynistic and this film really kind of drinks from that same cup as well it really does seem like it's a product of the 80s with its kind of like uh, its attitudes because it does at its heart objectify women now it kind of it kind of pretends to skirt around the issue by trying to say oh it's actually about love and there's basically the characters are you know falling in love and kind of experiencing that and all of that but let's be honest this is a a, a sex robot and that's kind of literally is literally uh, an objectifying women now you could argue yes but there actually are these kind of sort of sex dolls and as technology progresses it basically is becoming um, a, you know a realistic possibility to maybe have these kind of things we have kind of these lifelike uh, you know sex dolls and things like that but I don't know to me it was just a little bit like I say a little bit misogynistic uh, if you like that kind of thing obviously knock yourself out however but we'll talk about the kind of the uh, the positives and negatives. There's, there's a couple of positives here. I would say first and foremost, the the actress who plays Bardot, who is the kind of the main uh, female sex robot, I guess. I actually think that's quite a good job of kind of uh, selling you the fact that she is this kind of artificial intelligence, the way she kind of acts. But it's also down to the kind of the, her makeup and stuff to make her seem somewhat otherworldly and somewhat kind of lifeless to a certain degree. So I actually kind of quite liked the aesthetics to a certain degree. There are a couple of jokes here that kind of made me laugh as well, but it's more just kind of off the cuff, cuff comments when, rather than other sort of set pieces. And I will talk about the tone of this film because this is clearly a sex comedy, so it's obviously meant to be for a certain age group. But the humour overall is so juvenile, it almost seems like, I don't know, a weird slapstick, very kind of like childlike humour that doesn't fit with the kind of the, the kind of the sex comedy, which is obviously meant to be for a certain age group and above. I also want to sort of discuss maybe the some of the things that are portrayed here. Now this is being a comedy you you could decide write it off and think ah it's just a comedy it doesn't matter but peel back some of the humor and think if you watch the first thing when they the boys first discover uh Bardot, basically they run over her but they don't realize it's basically a, a robot first they think it's a real person so they take the body back and kind of basically talk about having sex with it now if you're watching a horror film that's dealing with necrophilia then you know what you're getting into but when you're kind of watching a, a comedy uh, I don't know. To me, I just felt the themes were didn't quite hit the mark, shall we say? Um, and obviously, like I've mentioned before, this film really is about objectifying women, and you know, forget about all this kind of like BS about oh, it's about true love in the end and all that. I mean, Weird Science, to be fair, was kind of guilty of it as well, but it was a different time back then, and I think this one is actually worse, to be fair. Now, the main other criticisms I'll say of this film, sadly, it's not funny. So there are a couple of like mildly diverting uh, jokes here and there, but they're like I said, they're kind of more off the cuff comments. The actual set pieces here are boring. They are not funny. The lead characters are not likable. 
you do have a couple of familiar faces, uh, probably Anthony Anderson and uh, Donald Fagin are going to be the ones you're going to probably recognise most. But they're just not funny in, in this film. And like I said, I don't know, overall for a comedy film, it doesn't work. I think it's out of place at this time. If you're a 13, 14 year old boy, you may get something from it. But to be honest with you, I think for the most part, um, it, it can be considered quite offensive. I didn't think it, was, it didn't offend me, but I can see how it would be offensive to some people. But to me, I just found it unfunny, somewhat boring and a dull comedy without really uh, any kind of, um, of life to it, to be honest with you, which is ironic considering it's about artificial life. Weird Science, this is not. That was a, a classic, even though it is somewhat a, uh, a dated in its themes. So overall, I will give this movie a 3 out of 10. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment and I will look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.